having done all this work on tangents on the one hand and quadratures or areas on the other hand, what Newton discovered was something really very remarkable and which is not at all obvious at first sight, is that these are related questions. Now when you think of the geometry, there's no reason why they should be. Why should a tangent be related to an area? In modern terms, the easiest way to think about this is that when you find tangents, you use what we now call the differential calculus. When you find areas, you use what's called the integral, integral calculus. And as every student knows, differentiation and integration are inverse processes. They're like the opposite of one another. If you differentiate and then you integrate, you get back to where you started or vice versa. That's easy when you're doing a sort of algorithmic technique of integration. When you think about it in the geometric sense that Newton was thinking about, it isn't at all obvious why tangents and areas are inverse problems in a sense. But this was one of Newton's really big discoveries. And when we now talk about the calculus, this is what we mean, that there are techniques for differentiating or finding tangents, there are techniques for integrating or finding um, areas, but these are inverse techniques, they are very closely related. And this is the really big discovery that makes it calculus as opposed to a set of separate techniques.